Right, let's move on to the weather now because there is a chill in the air and it's getting colder, isn't it, Jen? It certainly is. It hasn't been too bad today, actually. We have got up to 19 degrees Celsius across parts of the southeast today, and it has been quite pleasant, especially where we got the sunshine. Many of us saw that sunshine this afternoon. Now, tomorrow it is going to be a little bit cooler than it has been today. It will certainly be cloudier, but there should be a few sunny spells coming through at times as well. It's the end of the week when we'll see the change to something a lot colder, but we'll get to that in just a second. For the rest of tonight, the cloud is going to be rolling in. We will We'll see a few mist and fog patches as well and it will be a little bit chilly overnight actually temperatures down to around six or seven degrees to take us into Thursday morning. Now tomorrow we start off with quite a lot of cloud but it will be a dry start to the morning. I think there will be a few breaks in the cloud here and there so we will see the sunshine coming through and the temperature well cooler than today around 13 or 14 degrees Celsius. Then through Thursday night and on into Friday, again it's mostly dry, we will start to see a cold front moving through and that's going to bring a slight change for the weather on Friday, but Thursday night the temperatures will be getting down to around 7 or 8 degrees, so big changes haven't quite happened by this point, but Friday morning looks like there's lots of cloud around, some outbreaks of rain as well, that will all clear through by Friday afternoon, but as it's a cold front which has gone through, you'll notice those temperatures are 10 or 11 degrees, the top temperature temperatures on Friday afternoon so it is going to be feeling a lot colder coupled with that we have this northerly or northwesterly breeze and that will be noticeably cooler as well. If we take a look at the pressure chart then you can see as we head through Friday and into the weekend we're drawing our weather down from the north so it is going to be feeling a lot colder with that northerly breeze as well. So if we take a look at the outlook, you can see what's happening to those temperatures as we go through the rest of the week. A cooler day to come tomorrow, but then the temperatures really just drop off by the time we get to Friday and Saturday. And it is worth noting at this point, actually, that Friday night into Saturday, we are expecting the temperatures to get down to just above freezing. So really one of the first frosts that we've seen this autumn so far. In terms of the weather on Friday and Saturday, we are expecting there to be a few outbreaks of rain at times, but generally it's going to be mostly dry. By the time we get into Sunday, though, you can see a few more showers in the forecast. Those are largely going to be around the coast. Some of those showers could be fairly heavy, actually, so turning quite unpleasant over the course of the weekend for many of us. It is going to be very windy as well. So in the short term, things are a little bit cooler, but by the time we get to the weekend, I think you'll want to be getting your big coat out.